All right, so for chapter two, it's going to be about thermochemistry. But in this video, I'm going to explain further about subtopic 2.1, which is about concept of enthalpy. Okay, so here's the learning outcomes for subtopic 2.1. By the end of the lesson, so you should know how to explain endothermic and exothermic reactions by using the complete energy diagrams, state standard conditions of reaction, and define the following terms such as enthalpy and standard enthalpy, and also define and write thermochemical equation for each of the following enthalpies such as formation, combustion, atomization, neutralization, hydration, and solution or dissolution. Alright, apa tu thermochemistry? Okay, setiap chemical reaction, dia mestilah ada energy changes dia. Okay, so the study of energy changes during a chemical reaction, that is what we call as thermochemistry. Okay, sebab almost semua chemical reactions uh, akan ada energy yang will be released ataupun absorb in the form of heat. Okay, and then uh, bila reaction to dia takes place, uh, akan ada heat content okay system tu dia akan ada heat content uh, yang dinamakan sebagai enthalpy and enthalpy ni akan berubah okay so apakah enthalpy enthalpy itulah dia mis cakap tadi tu heat content of a system okay di dalam kita panggil uh, in this case kan system ni uh, actually is a chemical reaction okay tapi bila kita study pasal thermochemistry kita call chemical reaction ni sebagai sistem. So, setiap chemical reaction ada heat content yang tersendiri. Uh, itulah yang kita namakan dia sebagai enthalpy. Ataupun, uh, nama lain dia ialah total energy in the system. Okay, sebab uh, in a chemical reaction, setiap um, energy tu, dia kira di dalam bentuk heat. Alright. Uh, sebab itulah dia kata heat content. Uh, so, total energy ni sama je dengan heat content. Okay. Uh, sebab kalau in a chemical reaction, um, every energy yang release ke, absorb ke, it will, in the, it will be in the form of heat. Alright. So, the unit for enthalpy is joule ataupun simbol dia J besar. Okay. And then, the total enthalpy of a system H ni, it can't be measured directly. Okay. Tetapi, kita hanya boleh dapat the total energy ataupun heat content in a chemical reaction ataupun in a system by using a change in enthalpy. Okay. Change in this case, dia punya simbol dia triangle macam ni. Okay. And enthalpy macam biasalah H besar enthalpy. So, uh, since uh, we want to measure the total enthalpy of a system, uh, the change in, in enthalpy ni will be more useful. Okay, the quantity dia akan jadi more useful. So, the change in enthalpy is also known as the heat of reaction. Okay, so that means if you want to know the heat of a reaction, it's going to be the same as the enthalpy change with this symbol. So, how can we measure the enthalpy of reaction or as known as enthalpy change? Ni? So, we can get it uh, when kita find the difference between the total enthalpy of products minus kandungan total enthalpy of reactants. Okay, and ada sebenarnya uh, cara untuk dapat the ataupun nak measure the enthalpy of reaction ni uh, which we called it as calorimetry all right and there are actually two types of chemical reaction that is known as exothermic reaction and endothermic reaction okay daripada chapter 6 lagi uh, you dah dengar pasal exothermic and endothermic, endothermic reaction ni kan so apa tu exothermic reaction uh, exothermic reaction ialah reaction yang release heat to its surrounding okay so if let's say you ada uh, chemical reaction in this case, contohnya you ada zinc, you larutkan di dalam lead nitrate solution and then uh, there will be heat release to the surrounding. So, bila the heat release to the surrounding, that means the temperature will be increased. Okay, uh, so in exothermic reaction, kalau let's say you clear exo ni, uh, dia absorbs ke release heat. So, ingat ni, exo, exo ni is like you exit. Okay, exon is like exit. So, kalau exo, that means heat tu dia keluar. Uh, so, heat release to the surrounding. Okay, 
So for the energy profile diagram, this one Ms. Abin Chang da, uh, from previous chapter, how to draw the energy profile diagram. Okay, the manner your y-axis should be potential energy. And as usual, the unit for potential energy is kilojoules per mole. Usually lah, ataupun joules per mole. And then your axis should be uh, reaction progress okay and uh, this is the curve untuk exothermic reaction di mana potential energy of the reactant should be more than the potential energy of a product okay so if let's say you not measure okay you not measure the enthalpy change of this energy profile diagram of an exothermic reaction guide okay? so it should be the point there is between the potential energy of the product dengan reactant. So, but if you recall back uh, from previous slide just now, you should know that if you want to measure the uh, enthalpy change atau enthalpy of the reaction ni, it should be the total enthalpy of the product minus kan dengan reactant. But in this case, since product punya enthalpy rendah daripada reactant, that's why your enthalpy change should be negative. Alright? Okay, so uh, the point between the potential energy of the reactant dan juga the maximum potential energy ni pula ialah activation energy. So, please don't forget to label this as well. Okay. Uh, so, ni lah apa yang Miss dah terangkan kat sini tadi eh. Okay, just now Miss uh, tunjukkan macam mana cara nak lukis energy profile diagram for exothermic reaction. But now, how about Kalau let's say soalan suruh kamu draw the enthalpy diagram of exothermic reaction. Okay, contohnya lah kalau kamu ada this chemical reaction di mana A plus B ni ialah um, reactant. Okay, and then C ni adalah product. And dia punya enthalpy of the reaction ialah negatif. Okay, so you uh, bear in mind kalau enthalpy of the reaction ialah negatif, that means the, um, the chemical reaction Dia tengah undergo exothermic reaction ataupun exothermic process. Okay, because dia punya enthalpy change ataupun enthalpy of the reaction, uh, enthalpy of the reaction dia adalah negative. Alright, so kalau you nak lukis enthalpy diagram, your y-axis should be enthalpy and your x-axis should be reaction pathway. Tak kisahlah reaction pathway ke, reaction coordinate ke, coordinate progression ke, uh, but then it's something like this. And uh, you can always make sure, kalau let's say, for exothermic kan, kenapa you dapat negative? Because the enthalpy of your product is less than the reactant. Okay, you can recall why you dapat negative because the enthalpy, total enthalpy of the product is less than total enthalpy of the reactant. Okay, so bila you nak lukis dia punya profile diagram untuk enthalpy diagram ni kan. Um, so you should draw the enthalpy of reactant ni memang lagi tinggi lah daripada enthalpy of the product. And please don't forget to letak uh, reactant apa. Kalau in this case reactant dibagi A plus B, letaklah A plus B. Kalau reactant dibagi, uh, product dibagi C, kamu letaklah C. Okay, and then you buatlah A root kat bawah ni sebab nak tunjukkan dia punya uh, perbezaan enthalpy mereka ialah negatif. Ok guys, so I want you to try this. Ok, di mana if let's say you ada chemical reaction between zinc and lead nitrate uh, which you will get product zinc nitrate and also lead and dia punya enthalpy here, ok enthalpy change dia, enthalpy of the reaction dia ialah negatif. Ok, so if it's negative uh, you should know that this is exothermic punya reaction. Exothermic punya reaction. So, if it's an exothermic reaction, if let's say energy profile diagram, uh, as usual lah yang you dah pernah tengok kan, di mana y axis the potential energy, x axis the reaction progress, and this is how you draw the energy profile diagram. But how about enthalpy diagram? Ha, entapi diagram ni Miss nak kamu rujuk balik macam previously Miss cakap macam mana your y axis should be enthalpy x axis should be reaction progress ataupun reaction pathway okay and then you kena lukis one straight line graph uh, di mana enthalpy of your reactant should be more than your enthalpy of your product and arrow di bawah yang menunjukkan 
uh, dia punya perbezaan entalpi dia negatif. Next is endothermic reaction. Okay, kalau endothermic reaction ni, keyword dia ialah endo. Endo tu maksudnya macam indo di dalam. Okay, so kalau let's say endothermic reaction, reaction tu dia absorbs, absorbs heat. Okay, ha, dia absorbs heat from its surrounding. So if let's say you ada chemical reaction di mana you nak dissolvekan any HCl3 di dalam HCl diluted. Uh, therefore, the temperature will be decreased, okay, because the reaction to absorbs heat from its surrounding. And for the energy provided diagram, as usual, your y axis should be potential energy. X axis here is reaction progress, and this is the curve for endothermic reaction, di mana potential energy reactant kena less than the product, and okay, to measure the enthalpy change. Uh, for this endothermic reaction is going to be um, equals to the total entropy of the product kena minus dengan reactant okay? since that total entropy of product ni dia lagi tinggi daripada reactant therefore you will get uh, the punya entropy change for endothermic reaction it should be positive alright okay and then energy profile diagram ni tak sah kalau tak ada activation energy tau ah itulah basic energy profile diagram dengan enthalpy diagram okey sebab energy profile diagram wajib ada uh, label activation energy delta h alright okey so uh, macam biasalah activation energy ni point to between potential energy of the reactant sampai lah the maximum potential energy in the diagram okey for endothermic reaction lah Okay, so uh, ni explanation ni tadi Miss dah sedangkan tadi. Okay, this is the enthalpy diagram untuk endothermic reaction. How do you know that it's endothermic? Because the uh, enthalpy change dia ialah positive. Okay, so if let's say you ada chemical reaction di mana A plus B ni ialah reactant, C ialah product. So you should uh, lukis you punya total enthalpy point for your product tu kena tinggi sikit daripada reactant, okay and then please lah kalau soalan tu dah mention what is your reactant, you masukkan saja reactant you, kalau reactant you A plus B, buat saja A plus B kalau product you C, uh, letak C and also the arrow is going to be going upwards and since that uh, dia punya enthalpy change dia will be positive dalam enthalpy diagram tak perlu lukis activation energy point, okay Tapi you have to make sure you punya y axis is enthalpy, not uh, bukanlah potential energy anymore and also x axis is sama saja. Okay guys, so I nak you cuba buat uh, enthalpy diagram untuk reaction ni di mana your reactant ialah uh, N2 and juga H2, 2H2, you punya product ialah ammonia 2NH3. And berdasarkan energy profile diagram ni, I want you to translate dia dalam enthalpy diagram, bentuk dia macam mana pula. Same goes to this reaction as well, ya. Yeah? Di mana dia punya reaction dia ialah 2C plus 2H2. Product dia ialah C2 dengan H, C2H4, okay. And uh, the hint untuk you tahu enthalpy diagram tu endothermic ke exothermic, please look at the enthalpy change in this energy profile diagram. Okay, thermochemical equation ni actually a balanced chemical equation that shows the enthalpy change of reaction with its value, okay, and sign, okay, written on the right hand side of the equation. So, sebagai contoh, kalau you ada equation di mana H2O dalam bentuk solid phase bertukar in liquid phase, maka dia punya enthalpy change dia dia punya sign positive value 6.01 kilojoules okey a uh, enthalpy ni unit dia apa kilo uh, unit dia joules tapi kilo ni macam nak pendekkan je dia punya singkatan untuk kalikan dengan 10 kuasa 3 alright so if let's say the enthalpy change is positive it should be endothermic process that means 6.01 kilojoule of heat is absorbed when one mole of ice h2o solid kan ice ice melts all right so if let's say if you have a uh, water h2o liquid kan water dia bertukar jadi ice uh, so dia punya enthalpy change dia ialah negative sign dia negative value dia 6.01 kilojoules so kalau let's say the enthalpy tu negative that means it's 
and exothermic process okey di mana kat sini sebanyak uh, value sebanyak 6.01 kJ of heat is released okey heat is released when one mole of water freezes okey uh, wajib juga ni eh uh, kalau let's say uh, kamu nak buat thermochemical equation nah uh, benda yang paling penting ni pun juga phase dia the phases dia punya physical state tu apa uh, contohnya in this case solid ni liquid ah uh, inilah dia punya phase ataupun physical state wajib ni ya sangat-sangat wajib uh, bila you buat thermochemical equation kena ada phase kena ada entropy tu kat bahagian kanan dia punya sign apa walaupun dia positif dia letak je positif sign you jangan okey tak naklah letak biar je macam ni cannot kena tak positif juga Okay, and then kat sini dah bagi tahu dah. Uh, phase tu, physical state tu kena specify. Okay, uh, kalau if let's say if it's a reverse equation, uh, macam ni, kalau if it's a forward equation, dia positif. Tapi if I terbalikkan, uh, macam H2O water liquid ni, terbalikkan equation dia, jadi entropy dia punya magnitude tu pun akan jadi, uh, magnitude dia will remain the same, tapi sign tu je yang berubah. Magnitude dia sama je. Magnitude dia still 6.01. Tapi sign dia yang berubah bila dia uh, chemical equation tu dia terbalik. What if uh, Miss multiply kan the thermochemical equation by a factor, by sesuatu factor. In this case, kalau factor tu A, uh, apa yang uh, terjadi pada thermochemical equation tersebut? So, bagai contoh, if let's say you have this uh, chemical reaction, if let's say I multiply everything by a factor of A, so kira ni semua pun kena multiply, okay? Uh, contohnya macam ni, kalau if let's say A tu I misgantikan dengan 2, so that means I have to multiply everything, okay? I have to multiply everything dengan 2, okay? So, nanti akan jadilah 2H2O uh, solid phase, 2H2O liquid phase. And then, uh, 6 kali dengan 12, 6.01 kali 12 is 12.02. Next, we have six types of enthalpy such as enthalpy of formation, combustion, atomization, neutralization, hydration, solution or dissolution. Kenapa dissolution? Sebab if let's say thermochemical equation tu kamu terbalikkan dia, dia akan jadi dissolution. Macam hydration jugalah. Kalau let's say you terbalikkan thermochemical equation for hydration, dia akan jadi dehydration. But... That only works for this tu lah, bukan atas-atas ni. 